A fresh all-time record in the S&P 500, so the stock market, and this one I think is extra impressive. Following on to yesterday's discussion here on the Risk Radar, my three pillars of the perfect market held up pretty well today. We had stocks rallying with tech leading. That's crucial. That's one of them. The other is yields were up while bonds sold off and stocks rallied anyway. That's probably the biggest pillar that's crucial for this juncture in the economy. When we need to see economic data beating expectations, you want to see stocks reward the market for bonds selling off. That's what you want. That's very traditional. Economy improving, yields going up, stocks rallying with it. There was pretty good participation today, but you don't need like super broad participation. What really matters is that the core trade of tech is working. Semiconductors trying to break out at the same time as the S&P breaking out. Nvidia gave us the hint that that was happening. And so you get that really important leadership from the semis. You probably want to see a little bit more extension beyond the August highs from the SMH, but we're pretty much there. It looks like it's running away from the previous levels from the summer, so that's really good. S&Ps, of course, have been grinding and chopping around 57 handle for a while, so to see us push out of it and into the 58 today, that was a really good breakout. Long base, potential for a big breakout here. You've got tomorrow's inflation, but I don't think that's going to be a big threat especially considering that we've seen commodity prices stay contained. The fact that you've got yields going up while commodities got hit in the last couple days, that's really good. Notice you did see the DBC commodity fund rising while yields were going up, but then that reversed in the last couple sessions because crude's gotten hammered. So you've got yields going up for the right reasons. As I mentioned at the top of the show, you've got some yield curve crunch happening again because we're not going to be able to cut as much. That's okay. That's the whole argument that I've been making for months with the green light on stocks is that you want to get, especially after the Fed did 50, you want to get better than expected economic data. You prefer yields to go up than down. Now, if they really start to run away, maybe that's a different conversation. I don't think we've got to worry about that right now. If tomorrow, for some reason, we start ripping in yields and we're going to 4.2 or something, maybe the stock market will hesitate. But right now, with tech out in front, that works because the stuff that's going to have a problem if yields go up is generally the stuff that doesn't matter as much to the index level. We've obviously had moments of big dispersion within markets, that bifurcated market where we had the AI trade hyper concentrated while the small caps were struggling. We're not really getting that so much right now, and that's also encouraging. We've got the MAG7 group kind of mixed a little bit. We'll see what happens with Tesla tomorrow. The market's not as concentrated as it was, but it's also not depending on rate cuts. That's really important. And that's why you see crypto soft. And that's the third pillar of my perfect market is to see investors stick with quality cash flows and earnings potential rather than just gambling on the stuff that you're trying to sell to the next person for more. That's where the Russell does kind of look like the chart of cryptos in a way and BTC because they do share that quality. Some of the small caps that don't have any profits, some of them that don't have any revenues, expect the Russell to stay a little bit more limited while we do bring up the terminal rate for the Fed funds and eliminate the potential for big downside dovish cuts from the Fed this year. That's a fine trade-off and probably a positive one. Even though the muted moves in crypto and the Russell suggest animal spirits are not here, we don't necessarily need that. Slow and steady wins the race. As long as tomorrow's number isn't a shocker, I don't see why we couldn't get more of the same. Market's looking pretty good at an all-time high and a fairly unique one. Yields going up. That's a good situation. I'll see you tomorrow.